Hello everyone and welcome to LearnTech. In this short video we will check an application which is released from Microsoft. This application is called PC Manager. This is still on the beta and in order to download you can try it on your Play Store. In case that you cannot find PC Manager on your Play Store, then you can use this link of Microsoft which is pcmanager.microsoft.com. This application is on testing on China it looks like since the language that is used is in Chinese but once you open this website in order to download you just click on this button here and then the setup will be downloaded on your PC but after you install your application it will be looking like this and it will be on English language I find this application really very interesting and I will walk you through all the settings and all the features that will be included on this application which is called PC Manager. So as a beginning it will show us this possibility to boost the PC performance. I haven't clicked till now on boost. As we can see on this application we can see that the memory usage is 82% and the temporary files are 1.7 gigabyte. So let's go ahead and let's click on boost and let's see what will happen. So boosting the PC, it will take some time obviously to boost my PC. So we can see that memory usage is decreasing, temporary files is decreasing also. We'll give it the time that it's needed. Meanwhile, let's check the other settings. The first one is health check. If we click over health check, we can specify what kind of health check settings we want to configure. For example, so items to be cleaned up, we can choose, for example, what kind of items I want to be deleted from my PC. Potential issues, looking for general items, reset default browser to edge. No, I don't want this. Startup apps to disable, so you can specify here which apps you want to be disabled from startup. Let's suppose I want Wondershare Studio to be disabled from startup and once I'm done, then you click over proceed. Well, in this case, I don't want Windows Cache to be deleted and also I don't want Browser Cache to be deleted. I'll just keep temporary files and system logs and then I'll click over proceed. Taking action, health check complete, done. Well, nice. As we can see now, the memory usage now is decreased to 58%. I'm not very sure what exactly this boost of performance will do, but as I can see right now, the memory usage is now 58% comparing with the beginning, which was around 80%, and the temporary files now is just 5.4 megabyte. By clicking over storage management, you have also other settings that you can configure. For example, deep cleanup, you can perform a deep cleanup on your PC. Okay, here we are. It's redirecting us once again to this page where we can specify what we can clean up from our PC. On Storage Manager, then you find these other settings, which is Manage Large Files. You can search here which are the files that are higher than one gigabyte. View in File Explorer. So we click over here and it will show us which files on Drive C are higher than one gigabyte and then we can delete them if we find out that these files are not needed on my PC. I don't have any items which is so big. I'll just decrease this to this size, 100 megabyte. So here we are now it's showing me some files which are higher than 100 megabyte and they are saved on my C drive. Let's go back once again and then we have this other setting which is manage apps, remove rarely used apps to save space. So it will redirect us to settings and over there we can uninstall the applications which are not needed anymore on my PC. Then we have this other setting which says storage sense. If we click over here, we can configure automatically clean up temporary files. So let's have a look on it. So here we are, it will redirect us on the settings of the PC and here we can configure cleanup schedules. So during low free disk space, we can clean up the PC. 
So automatic user content cleanup, we turn it on and this configuration will clean up the temporary files on our PC. Let's go back once again to the main page of the PC manager. We can also configure the process management. It sounds also similar like the task manager. So we can say that this software is very powerful, which is a mix of CCleaner and task manager and some added new features that we didn't have before. So let's go now to startup apps, for example. And here we can also once again configure which apps we don't want them to run once the PC is turning on. So for example, I don't want the VPN to be up and running once I start the PC, so I can just disable it over here. If we go over security, we can find other settings regarding security. We click over scan in order to do a scanning of the PC by using Windows Defender. So processing, we have also the possibility to go over Windows updates. So we click over here and we do a Windows update if there are some updates not installed on my PC. Browser protection. So we can change here the default browser on my PC. Block changes by malicious apps on. So we turn this on in case that there are some apps that want to change something on my browser. This will stop it. Pop-up management, enable pop-up to block pop-up windows in the applications. If we want to disable pop-ups on my applications, we make this enable. But in this case, I'll just make this turn off because I don't want to disable pop-ups in Windows apps. So now it's just scanning my PC and let's have a look what exactly is scanning. So it's key system locations, startup apps, browser extensions, frequently used apps, background services, hardware drivers, and miscellaneous. So that's all that I wanted to show to you guys. So this is an application which actually I find it really powerful because it has many settings combined in one application. I hope that this will be released to everyone as soon as possible. But if you want to just download it quickly, you can just use this link, which I will put on the description below. And once you are here, you just download it and install it on your PC. Normally this is official because it goes over Microsoft.com website. But the only difference is that this is on Chinese, but once you run it, it will show in English as you can see here. If you want to configure some settings on the PC manager, there is uh, this button here and you click here and then you click over settings and here you can configure the settings of your PC manager. That's all that I wanted to show. Thanks a lot for watching and please do not forget to subscribe. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.